Hi, I'm Mike McNamara with Outdoor Photographer Magazine, and today I'd like to take a first look at two new interchangeable lens camera models from Sony, the NEX C3 and the SLT A35. Both are second generation additions to camera lines that Sony introduced in 2010. The compact NEX C3 joins the NEX5 and the NEX3, and now claims to be the world's smallest interchangeable lens camera model with an APS-C size sensor. And that sensor is a new 16.2 megapixel version, very similar in resolution to the NEX5 sensor, but now featuring lower power consumption and improved low light performance. The larger, more SLR looking SLT A35 joins the very popular SLT A55 and the A33 in the camera lineup. And it's the third camera to feature Sony's translucent mirror technology and a high resolution electronic viewfinder. It also has a 16.2 megapixel CMOS sensor similar to the one in the SLT A55 but again it now has lower power consumption and better noise reduction at high ISOs. There's lots of features in both cameras so let's start by taking a closer look at the NEX C3. If you're stepping up from an older compact camera with a zoom you should feel right at home with the NEX C3 and its 18 to 55 millimeter zoom kit lens. And despite its small size, there's still room for a swiveling three inch monitor on the back. The NEX C3 is also smaller than the new SLT A35, even though both share the same battery, similar sensors, and three inch LCD screens. Its body is also notably smaller than one of its main competitors, the Olympus Evolt E PL1. But that camera has a built in flash and a shorter kit lens. And despite its smaller size, the C3 also features a larger sensor than the Olympus, giving it a low light advantage and some increased depth of field control. While the camera's low noise at high ISO settings allows you to shoot in many situations without a flash, it does ship with a self-powered flash that attaches to the accessory port on top. While on the bottom you'll find a single memory card slot that accepts a wide variety of SD and memory stick duo cards, including SDXC. And next to it is a battery which provides enough power for over 400 shots, thanks to a more efficient circuits that use less power and run cooler than those found on the older NEX3. That battery also provides power for the preview monitor, which is the only way to access exposure controls and menus. Fortunately for those who don't know an f-stop from a pit stop, Sony has added a variety of intuitive controls that should make it easier to take better pictures without a photo degree. My favorite new one is the defocus control dial, which acts like a depth of field preview button that simultaneously changes aperture allowing you to dial in perfectly blurred backgrounds for scenics and portraits without knowing what an aperture is or what depth of field control is. In addition to these main controls, and as we've seen on competitive models, there's a bunch of special effects, including a very cool partial color effect that keeps one color and turns the rest to monochrome, ideal for highlighting a sweater or a flower. But if you're a control freak, then the SLT A35 will definitely appeal to you with its easy to reach external control dials and buttons. Nearly the same size as the SLT A55, the only feature missing from its outside is a swiveling monitor. But like the A55, it has a pop-up flash with wireless control and a hot shoe for external flash units and Sony's locking stereo mic. But internally, the A35 has faster everything over the NEX C3, including phase detection autofocus system that can focus and track objects in live preview mode or even while shooting videos. Not many HDSLRs can claim the ability to focus track a busy bee around a flower bed which may be why Sony's translucent mirror models created such a buzz when they were introduced in 2010. Sorry if that pun had a bit of a sting to it, but I'd also like to point out that all of the menu controls and settings that you can access on the 3-inch LCD can also be seen through the electronic viewfinder. And one more notable control is the tele-zoom function that allows you to take up to 7 frames a second using the central portion of the image. Great for tracking action in sports. So there you have it. Based on the overall features and value, I'd rate the SLT A35 as the best choice for nature, portrait, and advanced photographers, as it provides greater amounts of control, faster autofocusing, a pop-up flash, and a super sharp electronic viewfinder, plus built-in image stabilization, higher quality full HD video, and the ability to attach this neat microphone right on top on the hot shoe. But if you're looking for a smaller, almost pocketable sized camera that captures DSLR-like image quality and allows you to swap out lenses, then the NEX C3 might be the camera you're looking for. 